Although our department focuses on fields that are more theoretical and traditional, we welcome the innovations associated with mobile methods in the area of teaching historical disciplines. Within the teaching of educational history, we have developed several projects, parts of which are available in the outputs of So Moved. One of these projects is mapping the life and work of significant Czech and German educators of the interwar era, pioneers of the healthy school and outdoor school. These models connect education with questions of a healthy lifestyle, ecology, getting to know the area that the school is located in, and the local traditions. Last but not least, they emphasize movement in all its aspects, spiritual, mental and physical. Yes, the resemblance and proximity are remarkable. It appears that the ideas that arise in the project, which have already been established in certain fields such as psychology and medicine, are being implemented relatively slowly in the educational practice. It's as if there is a much greater inertia of traditions in school education, which perhaps didn't understand education in a sufficiently dynamic and comprehensive way, in harmony with the mental, social and physical processes that occur in a student. Eduard Storch and Karl Metzner, as prominent representatives of the progressive pedagogical movement in interwar Czechoslovakia, can proudly represent truly contemporary views on healthy upbringing and schooling. However, if we delve even deeper into history, we can find the prefigurations of the idea that education should be based on some form of dynamism among many much older authors such as Comenius, Montaigne and Plato. I mean that education is an incessant transformation and therefore cannot be conceived statically, immutably or dogmatically. First and foremost, we need to be careful not to give in to fashionable trends, which also affect the field of education. The notion that everything is wrong with schools and that everything needs to be reformed is a journalistic shortcut. Some things in education simply need to be set out. Let's remember the famous statement by Comenius from Labyrinth that one of the conditions for education is a leaden behind. However, it is evident that we still pay insufficient attention to ensuring that education happens in the most enjoyable, attractive form possible and preferably in line with a healthy lifestyle. The issue of movement in education, as we have tried to demonstrate in our contribution to the book Knowledge on the Move, far exceeds the realm of mere physical activity. It also touches on the question of dynamizing concepts through which we understand the world and the various things in it. And, of course, it fundamentally affects our inner lives, mental health and the ability to remain alert, open and critical. The opposite of movement is stagnation and we all know how threatening it is for individuals and the whole society when one mentally or morally stagnates at a certain stage of development and closes themselves off from further development towards improvement. Therefore, our concept of movement in education is comprehensive and truly encompasses a person as a whole. Certainly not only. In historical focused subjects, methods such as study visits and explanatory walks are well applicable because it is absolutely necessary to visit the places of historical memory for meaningful education in history. Only then it is possible for the past to come alive, so to speak, and become part of our lives, shaping our present identity. Shaping historical consciousness in relation to significant places of historical memory is, in our belief, not only a condition for understanding the present, but also a prerequisite for responsible preparation for the future. After all, the fate of the world depends on how well we manage to build on the past. However, we have a number of other subjects where mobile methods are used, such as various internships or psychological subjects. Besides me, there were three more colleagues whom I would like to introduce. 
First, our ladies from the Department of Education, Faculty of Arts, Charles University, Teresa Komarková. Hi, everyone. And Jarka Svoboda. Hello, from Prague. And our colleague, Jiří Kropáč, who works not only at our department, but also at Palacky University in Olomouc. With his technical support, this video was created. Hi, everyone. We are also glad that the students of our MA study program willingly participated in our work. With their help, an exemplary project day for first year students was realized. I would also like to mention the contribution of our colleague, Professor Tomáš Kasper, who with his professional insight and willingness to participate in project activities, contributed significantly to the successful outcome. Thank you too. We wish all MOOC users the best and a lot of inspiration for further reflection and implementation of mobile methods in education.